the fourth and penultimate stage of Tour de Luxembourg 2024, the shortest stage of the week and the absolutely critical individual time trial. That's Pedersen, uh, perhaps an outside favourite for Glory heading into the stage. Five uh, victories in races against the watch in his career for the 28-year-old Dane, former world road race champion, already a stage winner uh, this week in the Tour de Luxembourg and uh, 26th off the start line and setting a very challenging time that the later runners will do well to eclipse. 19 minutes and 22 seconds for Pedersen as he attempted to record a second individual time trial success of the season. Faced against him, the pre-stage favourite, Juan Ayuso, starting the day 12th overall. The star Spanish rider looking for a fourth victory of the season. And uh, Ayuso, who's taken three individual time trial successes in the last two seasons, looking for a 14th UCI success. Faced against him, a man who's never won an individual time trial at UCI level, Antonio Tiberi from the Bahrain Victoria squad, nonetheless one of the strongest uh, competitors and a really consistent performer. Ayuso looking good as they came to the nine kilometer intermediate timing point. Mads Pedersen in the hot seat, recognizing that it was going to be difficult to hold on to the top spot. Mark Hirschi with designs on overall success. Starting the day third overall at 45 seconds to Maori Van Sediment. And 13 seconds down on Matthew van der Poel, leader of the points classification, stage winner already this week and uh, hoping to move back into the overall race leadership. He could fend off the others and uh, Ayuso heading to the line to record an absolutely stunning time, 19 minutes and 11 seconds. And that would prove to be unbeatable on the day. Maori van Sevenant, proud moment for the Belgian rider, the winner of stage three and wearing the yellow, final rider into action. Not a time trial specialist, so for Van Sevenant, it was about damage limitation to try and maintain his position at the head of the general classification. Tiberi looking good out on the road, the 23-year-old Italian. Meanwhile, on the short climb of the Col de la Europe, one and a half kilometers at 8%, and Sevenant in his uh, pomp on that particular terrain. Coming to the finish line, Ayuso breathes a sigh of relief. Antonio Tiberi unable to eclipse the time of the Spaniard. Tiberi trying to make do with a nonetheless very impressive second place, seven seconds down. Meanwhile, Mark Hirschi out on course and uh, slower than his teammate Ayuso at the intermediate timing point. Coming to the line. The UAT Emirates rider, 14 seconds down, good enough for fourth at that point, and that would ultimately be his finishing position in the time trial. And the question was, would he be able to overhaul Matthew van der Poel? Van der Poel's second fastest at the intermediate timing point, losing time in the second half of the time trial, but nonetheless had uh, enough in hand ultimately to take over the overall race leadership but at that moment Ayuso knew that he had done enough to take the stage success. Mary van Zevenant, a nonetheless impressive performance from uh, who's not uh, an expert at the time trial to limit his losses but Ayuso recording his fourth victory of the season, second in the individual time trial and a fourth time trial win in the last two seasons. Seven seconds in hand over Antonio Tiberi, Mats Pedersen in third at 11 seconds. Here she and Van der Poel doing great work. But Van der Poel moving back into the race leadership ahead of the final stage. A narrow advantage of just uh, three seconds over Ayuso with Mari Van Seven and still very much in the hunt at three seconds in third.